It's time for an update on the knockout roses. Today we're going to look at the difference between the knockout roses that I pruned last fall versus the knockout roses I pruned this spring. I'm Laura from Garden Sanity. Let's get started. So here's one of the foundation beds by our library. And this is one that I really focused on when I did my pruning knockout roses video in March. So there are three shrubs in this bed. This one, I had pruned all the way down to the ground. I think I, it was about 12 inches tall. And part of the reason was because I thought it might have some of that rose rosette disease or otherwise known as witch's brooms. But I love the way it's growing back. So far it looks good. It's very shrubby, <laughs> which is what they're supposed to look like. The new growth is red. Sometimes people confuse that with the rosette disease, but I'll keep an eye on it. And as you can see, we already got a bloom ready to go. So I'll keep an eye on this one. Not sure what the ultimate thing will happen with this, if it'll end up getting the rose rosette disease again or not. We'll have to see. It's this right here that makes me think it might still have the disease a little bit, but I'm gonna watch it because like I said, this could be new growth, but it might also be the disease. I'm gonna have to see. So the next two rose bushes look fabulous. Now these I didn't cut back as much and they look great. Over the weekend we had two days of 90 degree weather and they just popped. Some have come out, but look at how many buds are all over this shrub. Just beautiful. This is gonna be a spectacular show. All these buds are just, I'm so happy to see it. So they look good and bushy and shrubby and everything they're supposed to look like. Really great. Got some almost dead daffodils down here. I'll be cutting those back soon. But look at how pretty this all looks. Fantastic. So I would say these shrubs, a success. Now let's look at some other ones. Now this is one of the knockout roses that I considered very spindly. It was one we transplanted from the center bed. I've talked about it before. I think it also is growing back wonderfully. In fact, it's got some new, right here you can see, some new growth coming out right out of the ground. So those will be new canes, which I'm thrilled about. And it's got some good buds. See these buds coming out? And of course, we have a bloom already, which is great. I am so happy with this. I don't care if it stays lower, we'll see how fast it grows in terms of height, but it already looks so much better than it did last year. And I'll keep an eye on it so it doesn't get too spindly. This one looks really good. So pretty. I'll consider this one also a success. So this is the knockout rose bush that's in the front of our center bed in the front yard. Again, uh, I cut this one down to just about 12 inches. It was an odd shape and it, it, you know, it's still not perfectly round. But I wanted to show you as well, what's nice is you've got the geranium rosans on each side. I have two plants on each side of it. And these plants will curve around. As you can see, they're already blooming a little bit. And as the summer goes on, they'll start winding their way through the knockout rose shrub. And so you'll get actually a mix of these beautiful geranium roseanne blooms peeking out from the knockout rose shrub. So we got some blooms there and we've got lots of buds. Again, success. And now we come to the lamppost bed with the <laughs> way overgrown, I gotta prune this back, Manhattan Euonymus. I think I mentioned in a previous video, I already pruned that back. Gotta do it again. It's happy in its spot. But look at this knockout rose. Again, this was one, I'll show you some previous pictures, where I did a rejuvenation pruning, as they're called. 
And by the way, there's a link above where you can see exactly how I pruned these knockout roses. But it went all the way down. And by the way, what you're seeing on the leaves, that's pollen. We have not had rain for over two weeks and the pollen is just sitting on everything. So we're all looking forward to upcoming rain, especially our allergies. <laughs> so again, you got some wonderful dying daffodil leaves and I'll get to those eventually. I let them yellow. But what's nice to see, most importantly, what I wanna show you is how good this knockout rose shrub looks. So one of the things I wanna show you is if you look at this, how low this shrub is, and then we look across the driveway at the three shrubs that were pruned last fall, you can see that this one's a lot shorter. I don't mind if it stays shorter. I know it's gonna grow in height. We'll see how tall it gets this year. But what I do want is what we're seeing here. Again, it's bushy, shrubby growth. Looks a lot nicer than the spindly growth that even with green leaves and roses, you know, if you've got a lot of bare stems that are just long and just doesn't look nice. But this is good. This looks really nice. So here are the knockout rose bushes that I pruned last fall. And that's when I used to always do them. But then I read that many more people seem to suggest that you prune them in early spring. So I thought, well, okay, I'll try that with all the other ones I just showed you. But I thought I'd leave these, trim them last fall, so I could do a comparison. So the neat thing is that these are blooming at the same time as the ones that I pruned in the spring. There was no delay in the springtime blooming at all. These may have more blooms on them now that I'm looking at it closely. In other words, more buds already opened than the ones that I showed you by one of the uh, foundation beds. But who cares? <laughs> I think the overall impression I have is that these are taller. I think they had more time to grow in the spring, whereas the other ones I had cut down. But I really thought that the spring pruned knockout rose shrubs were gonna bloom later. I read that sometimes they could even be a month later. Well, not in this case. So this bed looks dynamite. I mean, when the roses are blooming, you almost don't see anything else in this bed. It's so pretty. And again, what I did was I have a geranium roseanne planted just in front, a little bit underneath each one of these shrubs. And again, as the summer goes on, each of these are going to wind a little bit through the front of the rose bushes. And then you'll get some wonderful blooms. In fact, let me give you an example. See this guy back here? He's already thinking. He's saying, you know what? Maybe I am gonna start going up this shrub. So that's awesome. So I'll definitely show you that. But this looks good. I am thrilled with how the shrubs here look. So to me, in conclusion, I don't think there's much of a difference whether you prune your knockout roses in the fall or the spring. I'm pleasantly surprised about that, but I love it that that's the conclusion I'm reaching so far. Again, these shrubs are a little bit shorter than the ones I pruned last fall, but they're blooming and they're gonna continue blooming and I think we're in for another beautiful summer of roses. So I'm thrilled and I think this means that you can prune them either late fall or early spring. I'm not sure which I'm gonna do yet because both of these worked out great. I think the one thing I am curious about, again, like I said, we'll see how this guy does. But otherwise, everything's looking great, including this super healthy weed that's in flower. That's pretty. <laughs> I gotta come out here and cut these uh, candy tuff back now that they're basically done blooming anyway, so I'll grab that weed at that time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you see that the roses bounce back from the pruning. And even this guy here bounce back nicely. So until next time, happy gardening. <laughs>